Gladiators. They are champions. They're hustlers and Hall of Famers. They're the world's greatest pool players. And they've come to the International Pool Tour's King of the Hill 8-Ball Shootout for two very good reasons. To win the biggest prize money the sport has ever known and to dethrone the current king of pool, Mike the Mouth Seagull. Meet Mike Seagull, voted the world's greatest living pool player. Taught Tom Cruise how to shoot pool in the color of money. Ten-time world champion. Today, he wears the crown. But nothing can prepare this legend for what awaits. Drama, excitement, and the most challenging pool competition ever. Take your cue. The world's most amazing players. The hottest pool action ever. A million dollars on the table. Get ready for the ultimate break. Uh, let's get ready to rock on! It's the International Pool Tour. It's good to be king. The grandest event in the history of pool is about to reach its dramatic final act. Hello and welcome to our championship table coverage of the International Pool Tour's King of the Hill Invitational 8-Ball Shootout. Matt Vaskersian along with IPT founder Kevin Trudeau and eight-time world champ Lori John Jones. Kevin, this is it, the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, it's really the biggest event in pool history. We have the two greatest players on planet Earth playing for the first time in a championship match for the biggest prize money in pool history, anything can happen. You know, half the people think Mike is the greatest player. The other half think Ephraim is the greatest player. We're in for something that is unprecedented in the world of pool. Well, Lori John, you've been at many final tables in your long, illustrious career. You know both of these players well. How do you break down this match? Well, this is going to be such an exciting match. You have Mike Siegel, who has the bigger break, and you have Ephraim Reyes, who's a great shot maker. On the other hand, you have Ephraim, who's been playing in the tournament for the week, and Mike, who has been sitting around just waiting. I mean, he's been practicing, but he's been waiting. So it's going to be an exciting match. Well, let's see what the players think about it and check in backstage with our colleagues, starting with Rebecca Grant, who's with the King. Thanks, Matt. I'm here with reigning King of the Hill, Mike Siegel. It's about 10 years since you've gone up against your opponent, Efren Reyes. How you feeling? I feel great. I think I'm going to play very well, and uh, I think I have a slight edge. I've beaten him more than he's beaten me, so we'll see what happens. So we're down the street. You changed up some equipment? Yeah, I changed my brake shaft that's been bending so much. I think it's kind of gotten rubbery, and I put a new shaft on there, and I'm breaking the balls very well, so that's, uh, that's good for me. All right. Well, I wish you luck. Let's check in with the challenger and Danielle Roberts. Now, you've won every big money tournament you've ever played. Do you think there's more pressure on you or Mike today? I think it's more pressure to me that what a lot of people are watching to me for all over the world. And then and then everybody, they expect, expected me to win, like in our country. Well, best of luck to you. Ladies and gentlemen, and pool fans around the world, welcome to Orlando, Florida, and the International Pool Tour King of the Hill Invitational 8-Ball Shootout. The game's greatest players, Hall of Famers, legendary hustlers, champions, both men and women. They've come from the East, West, North, and South. They've come from all over the world with one mission, to win the biggest prize money in the history of pool. Please welcome the challenger. Born in Pampanga, Philippines, he's won the World Cup, the International Nine Ball Tournament, and the World Nine Ball Open. He's a challenge of champions winner and one of the most lethal and legendary players in pool history, a Hall of Famer, Efren the Magician Reyes. And now, originally from Rochester, New York, now living in Orlando, Florida, a Hall of Famer, a 10-time world champion, voted the world's greatest living player, presenting the reigning IPT 8-Ball Champion of the World, Mike the Mouth Seagull.
today's referee, Mr. Charlie Ursetti. The game is eight ball. The match is two out of three sets with a race to eight in each set. Cue ball fouls only, resulting in ball in hand anywhere on the table. You must call every ball in every pocket if it's not obvious. The winning player has the option to break or have his opponent break. If you make a ball in the break, it's considered an open table and you have a choice of either solids or stripes. Are there any questions? Gentlemen, leg for break. Okay, this is the lag to determine who breaks here in the first game. Whoever gets the break has a huge advantage, of course, because either of these two great players can run out table after table. Two Hall of Famers, two legendary giants of pool. The player whose ball stops closest to the rail wins the right to break. It's very close. Reyes, so Reyes wins the break. Wins the leg. It's the biggest night in pool history. Who will be the new? King of the Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rock them. All right, let's get some perspective and maybe predictions about this championship match from some of the other star IPT players who've competed here at the King of the Hill shootout. Reyes versus Siegel. Siegel versus Reyes. You know, the Siegel-Reyes match coming up, Efren is my favorite. He seems to always find his, pick up his speed when there's a lot of money on the line. Mike is going to be the king of the hill. You know, I think Mike can do it. Um, you know, I'm, my heart goes with Mike. You know, that's who I want to win. I don't see taking off that many years and coming back and playing as strong as you did. I don't think it's going to be a best of three. I think it's going to be a race to two on Efren's side. How could you not pick Efren Reyes to win any event? I mean, he's the greatest of all time. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to watch this match. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun. Efren the Magician Reyes versus Mike the Mouth Seagull for the richest prize money ever. Who will be the next King of Pool? retired, Ephraim and all the Filipinos gave me a big party because I would take the mother share of the prize money every time. When I see that nice trophy, I'm gonna for that trophy. Look at that hand, like a rock, look. Ephraim, I'm sure, is like this now. My king of the hill. Just kick his butt tomorrow. I'll do that, don't worry. Take names later. Now I'm trying to get the uh, blood flowing here. This, I just try and do a fast walk. This hopefully uh, gets the cobwebs out. Now, there's nothing better when a, well, like a fine-tuned athlete that has a cigarette after he walks and another coffee. I have to be some nervous to play well. You know, you, you feel tight but good. If you're not nervous, then you, you don't play as well. And if you're over nervous, you're too nervous, which I don't do too often. Got some red. I'm a pretty good looking guy, huh? Yeah, let's not forget that. I've done that before, believe it or not. Well, Efren Reyes has won the lag and he will have the advantage of breaking first. That's a huge, huge advantage, especially since he doesn't have a big, as big of a break as Mike Siegel. Efren Reyes went through two days of competition in dramatic style surviving to get the first crack at the king of the hill. Well, he makes the ball on the break, and he has his choice, solids or stripes. It's eight ball. Once he chooses the group, he then has to clear the table of all those balls, then shoot the eight ball to win the game. Right here, the, he has the stripe balls are in... Um a bad position, or there's two two strike balls that are, um, you know, together. together there. So, I think he's going to go for the low balls right here, starting with the one ball. One ball in the corner. Lori John, talk a little bit about some of the nuances for the uninitiated between nine ball and eight ball. If you boil it down, a lot of the players at this event have said what nine ball is to checkers, eight ball is to chess. Is that is that accurate? Absolutely. 
an eight ball is, is there's no luck involved in eight ball. I mean, you have to run out an eight ball. And if you run out and if you, you know, get bad position on the last ball or something, you're finished. Seven ball. Now, this is a huge match. It's the match, really, of the century. It's the match that everyone in pool around the world have been dying to see. Half the people in the world think Ephraim Reyes is the greatest player who's ever lived. The other half think Mike Siegel is the greatest player that ever lived. Five in the corner. Ephraim Reyes absolutely can do things that I don't think I've ever seen before. It was a great shot. That was unbelievable. He had to play it off that ball. That's, they call that a carom shot. Exactly, and, and the average person probably wouldn't have done Three that. Three in the corner. Couldn't have done it. Certainly not on purpose. Oh, and he couldn't get it to drop into the corner, Un so we'll see the king for the first time. Unbelievable. Laurie, what happened here? Was this nerves? I mean, this was not a... I'm thinking it's just nerves right now. You know what? He jumped up on the shot there. I, I, it's definite nerves. By 14. 14 ball. This is a tough shot for Siegel. Watch this. Oh. oh, what a good try. He tried to break those two balls up right there. That was a fabulous try. Almost did it. That's the kind of skill that the uh, pedestrian pool hall player and the guy that plays in the fraternity house and the firehouse is not going to be able to master in a couple of days. Exactly. There's a lot of people at home right now who would say, gosh, I could have made that three ball. But again, tight pockets and the pressure are going to get to the players. Now, you played, Mike, 13. in this arena. Let's see what he does here. Then I want you to tell us about the pressure that these players are facing. John. And Mike tanks one. That's the pressure right there. <laughs> Boy, a couple of Hall of Famers with an early case of the yips. Now here's, let's see Kevin if he moves. Four ball in the corner. Well, he kind of jumped I think up a he little. jabbed a little bit at it. Just it, it. it just didn't have a nice stroke on it. This is once again, uh, not, to, not to understate the importance and the significance of this, it's the largest prize pool in the, in the history of the game. And as highly decorated and skilled as these players are, anybody's going to feel a little bit of the heat in a situation like this. The first two racks, you're, you're going to see a little bit of the jitters. Once they get over that, the match is going to go fast. Well, I remember you, Lord John, in your match against Mike Siegel in the first ever IPT event, saying that you were as tight as a drum through the first, almost first full game. Probably for the whole match. <laughs> for the game. So the magician Efren Reyes takes advantage of a Siegel mistake and wins game one of the richest and most dramatic showdown in pool history. We'll be back at the International Pool Tour's King of the Hill 8-Ball Championship match right after this. Back to the table, center court at the biggest stage in the annals of pool. Efren Reyes has taken an early 1-0 lead in the first set in this two out of three set match. So Reyes with his second break. And this time, nothing drops. So an open table for the king. Now Mike Siegel was voted the greatest living player in the world by Billiards Digest magazine. And a lot of Ephraim fans weren't happy with that because, again, half the planet thinks Ephraim's the greatest living player. But Ephraim is certainly a pressure player. Absolutely. They've met many times over the years, too, before Mike retired. And Mike has a very good record on Ephraim. You know, even though he's played on this table and practiced on this table all week, there is nothing Six like side. being under the pressure. You have to be under the pressure. If you have an option, Lori John, would you rather be the king and have people coming at you fresh, or would you rather be out there playing in the, the field side. to have your stroke down? I'd have to say playing in the field. Mm. Get my jitters out in the beginning and, and come on and play that final. Four. 
four in the corner. Mike is uh Mike's chosen the low balls. The only thing Mike has to worry about is that eleven ball and that eight ball uh are frozen together. Five ball. Now where does he want to leave the cue ball after this? Make? He's gonna shoot the one ball next. Or possibly the three ball and break them up now and then the one oh, well. ball. It's either the bank or the bust. Yeah, see? And exactly he's looking as at you these. described, yeah. Two, I can't believe that. And he's figuring that he has to bank the eight for the win. So he'll play the one, one ball. One ball. Come down for the three ball. Leaves himself in a great position as well. I try and break it except for that ball. And what he's talking about there, he'd try, he would try to break them up, but there's no guarantee that he's going to get a shot on the eight Three ball because the, the 14 ball's in the corner and the, and the 13 ball's in the corner. So he's choosing the right shot here. here. Yeah, now he's got to go to this cross side. a tough shot. You, know, you could make this 10 times in a row or miss them 10 times in a row. To tie the set. Nope. Oh, he missed. Goes long every time, huh? Wow. Here it is. And that's just a miss. Well, I think what he was saying is, because he was practicing on this table earlier, it was going long every single time. Every time. And so he was assuming it was going to go long, and all of a sudden, boom, it goes short. And that's something that we talked about before, Kevin, was practicing in the morning before the people enter and before the camera lights are on changes the table. 12 ball. And the king is hoping he didn't leave a wide open table. One foot on the ground makes a difficult shot. See, now that was very bad position there, Matt. It, he, he came up very short on that shot to where now this is, instead of being an easy shot, it's just ball. a little bit more difficult. Making it look easy, however. He's known as the magician because when he ball. does get out of position, he comes with these incredible shots. He makes anything. He makes impossible shots. I've seen him do things that you can't do. Nine in a corner. Boy, Efren Reyes began this with all seven of his strike balls on the table. Mike Siegel again, just the eight ball away from tying up the set at one game apiece. Instead, he's looking at the very real possibility of falling behind the magician two games to none. Eight ball on the side. And Ephraim is going to keep the break. And uh, you know, I watch Ephraim in, uh, in, the, in the games. You know, he, break, he can break and run five or six game in a two. row. Game two. Two nothing, Reyes. Now let's check in with Rebecca Grant, who's standing by with New York Yankee center fielder and eight ball fan Johnny Damon. I'm here with Johnny Damon. How you doing, Johnny? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. So what brings you to King of the Hill? Well, I love pool. You know, I have a couple pool tables, and it seems like when we have a gathering at the house, we tend to go and play pool. And there are some good shots at times, uh, some bad, but for the most part, I'm a decent pool player. So decent pool player. So if you had your choice, professional baseball player, professional pool player, which would you choose? I think I will stick to baseball. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Back up to you. Set one, game three. Mr. Reyes leads two games to none. Now, Efren made a ball. Mm -hmm. And not that, for again, for those people at home, when you make a ball in the IPT tour, you have your choice. You can either choose solids or you can choose stripes, even though he only made one ball. Again, the balls are breaking up very good all the time, but you still have some balls that are tied up. Yeah.
Is there an advantage to one player having more time on the table early to conquer that case of the yips that we saw so clearly in the first game? Well, it's interesting you ask that. Mike told me that the first game kind of sets the precedent of the whole entire match. And when I played Mike 13. and missed a shot in the first game, and he won that first game, kind of set the precedent. And, and his words might come back to haunt him. <laughs> yeah, he missed that shot. He didn't stay down. He's been working on that. I guess it goes in the corner. Yeah, it goes in the corner. Fans really appreciating the work of the magician here, including some celebrities who are with us. Joey Fatone, formerly of NSYNC, a big Broadway star now, and Debbie Gibson. Eight ball in the corner. Three-nothing three Reyes. Well, the magician has pulled about a half a rabbit out of his hat early in this one. Game four. It's going straight to side. What is this? I was just going to mention that. Mike, uh, Mike just said that that one ball, it's like that second ball is going right in the side pocket every time. That's the ball that I make when I break. And it's just the way you hit them. Well, Efren keeps the break once again. Well, you almost get the sense that after that early miss, Reyes is, is back to his automatic self. Those are the grousings of a very nervous king of the hill, folks. One in a corner. You know... The men talk about, you know, the break being the biggest thing. But even though Efren is not, Two maybe the, the power isn't behind his break as much as Mike's, but he's hitting the ball so solidly and, and the cue ball's ending up in the middle of the table that he's getting a shot and the balls are, you know, that one ball's going in the side Six pocket the every side. time. And, and, and Efren's loosening up. Look at his stroke. Oh, believe it. Smooth as glass. And meanwhile, Mike Siegel's thinking about buying one of those trucker's cushions for Seven his chair. Four in the corner. Well, this is the kind of form that Efren Reyes has shown all throughout this event. Five in the corner. Well, Efren Reyes right now, unless something dramatic happens, he looks like he's going to take the first set. Oh, he, he could break and run the next three oh, or four games. Very easily. Eight in the side. Game four. Four nothing for the magician. I'll tell you what, Siegel is sitting there shell shocked right now. Will he recover from this shock and get back to the table? Reyes leads 4-0, and we'll be back at the International Pool Tours King of the Hill 8-Ball Championship right after this. He's a national folk hero, revered in the Philippines, and an idol to a nation that loves pool. To Filipinos, he's known as Bada, the kid, the local boy who made good. To the rest of the world, he's the magician, perhaps the most gifted money player the sport has ever known. He's a Hall of Famer and lives the life of a high-stakes gambler. He's an uncanny shot maker and thrives on intense competition. Motivated by the money, the action, and the expectations of a nation, Efren Reyes is the man in Manila. And today, he's planning to bring the biggest prize in pool history home. We're back at the International Pool Tour's King of the Hill 8-Ball Championship match. Mike Siegel a bit muddled, a bit dazed at the moment, trailing for nothing. Game five. Now let's look at this one ball, the head ball. See if it goes in that side again. It's not the one ball I don't think it's going. It's that Correct. second. Okay, right. that was different. It was that second ball. 
that was going in the side pocket. If Mike finally gets a chance to shoot. Where are the problems here, Lori John? Right there. The 10 and the 11 ball, those are, those are the only two balls, really, that are possibly an issue. Everything else is, is uh, fairly open. Fans encouraging Seal to, quote, talk it out and let him get comfortable boy, here. Boy. So he's been sitting in his chair for the last 15 minutes watching Ephraim run out, and now he's got a really hard shot to keep going. Otherwise, Reyes gets in, runs the table again. But it's the right shot. Nope. No good. And he can't get it to run down the rail. Wow. Can't get started. Can't get started. I mean, I just can't get loose. He, need, he needed an easy shot on that shot. He, if he shot the 14 ball, the odds of him getting out, if he didn't get perfect to shoot that 11 ball, Five he was corner. finished anyway. So he chose the right shot. An open and friendly table for Efren Reyes with a number of easy shots to choose from here to start. <sighs> that wasn't that tough. All I got to do was hit it decent. I mean, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Uh, what I know. I can't get nothing to get going with. Mike Siegel sounds like he, we pulled him right out of a Sopranos episode. What are you going to do, huh? He's been doing that his whole life. <laughs> Efren Reyes' whole life has been devoted to pool. And as is the case with so many of the players in the IPT from the Philippines, guys, you know, they'll play all day, all night, for days and days at a time. They live in the pool room, sleep One under ball. the table. You know, when you, when you look at the three players who were the possible, you know, uh, uh, Players to, to go against Mike Siegel, they were all Philippines. That's right. <laughs> Francisco Bustamante, Marlon Manalo, and, of course, Ephraim Reyes. Seven ball in the corner. Two misses so far by the reigning king of the hill, Mike Siegel. The good part about this format is it's best two out of three sets. Right. It's the first player to win side. eight games wins the set but you have to win two three of three side. sets six ball on the side Lori John let me ask you this between sets would Mike consider going to a practice table just to just to shoot a little bit because he just hasn't been on his feet much here in this match no I think Mike knows he's ready he just needs a shot he needs a straight-in shot in the corner pocket <laughs> or in the side pocket, something easy to, to, to start a momentum. For a 5 nothing lead in this very important opening best of three set. Game. 5 nothing right. 5 nothing. Might be a fast afternoon here in case I don't win a game. Game six, Mr. Reyes leads five games to none. Reyes will keep the break again. Well, the setup here, fairly open. He's probably going to take the low balls because the three ball is blocking the ten ball. He can play the combination of the seven ball into the one ball in the corner pocket. Efren is not known as one of the best breakers in the world. He has a good break. Four ball. But he's breaking very well today. He's making a ball on his break, moving the balls all over the table, spreading them out, which is allowing him to run the table. And sometimes the balls, you know, just run a little funny. Five ball. Well, you know what? Some tables, too, do not like hard breaks, if that makes sense. Some, so, you know, the, the atmosphere, sometimes you have to break them a little softer in order to get everything not seven tied into the up. One. So you're shooting the combination now, seven into the one. Great shot. Perfect. Now, over the last three days at this tournament, we've seen players down seven to two in a race to eight. Karen Kaur, for example, was down seven to two against Nick Vandenberg, came back to win 8-7.
Uh, so we've seen players all throughout the week come back from huge deficits, 6-0, even 7-0, to come back to win 8-7. But they haven't been under this much pressure in this setting. Right. Do you think Mike has that? Can, can, he, can he overcome the pressure? There's, there's no question in my mind that Mike can overcome the pressure. He needs one game. <laughs> but I think he's putting too Set much pressure two, on that three. one game. Right. Now the Magician's still rolling. And now just an eight ball away from a 6 nothing lead. Well, this isn't the eight easiest the shot in the world, is it, Laurie John? No, it's not. Because he, the, the 10 ball, he's got a, the 10 ball, he has to maneuver around that 10 ball. I, he's, again, nothing. He's easy. known as a shot maker, and there he is. <laughs> he's known as a, that was not a very easy shot at all, and he just fired that in. Another game for the magician. He leads six nothing, and all Mike the Mouth Seagull can do is talk to himself. Then put the heat on. You're watching the International Pool Tour. For a schedule of events and to learn how you can qualify to play for over $8 million in prize money, log on to internationalpooltour.com. People, you know, it's a, it's a thing. Who is the better player, Ephraim or myself? even though I have more titles, and I faced him many times. I think I'm ahead of him in, in battles, you know, back and forth. So, and I know he looks up to me as a, he, he fears my game, where a lot of guys don't do that. And, I, and if I play well, which I figure I will, I, I think, I don't think anybody can beat me. I mean, it, it's pretty simple as that. Mike Siegel voted the world's greatest living player, perhaps less confident now than he was earlier. He's run into the magician and a case of bad luck and nerves here in the first set in this two out of three set championship match. The current IPT crown on Siegel's head is resting a bit uneasy here at the moment. Reyes holding break leads six games to nothing. Well, Mike may have a chance here. Look at, okay. I'll tell you what, he flew out of the chair. Which is good, but Mike needs to slow down right now. Look at the table. He's going to shoot the 11 ball. He's going to come out for in the middle of the table. And he didn't hit it oh very my well. Oh, God. my goodness. Oh, don't tell me I can't hit the nine, huh? Huh? This is unbelievable here. This is, huh? What's the deal here now? Tell me what's going on here today. Look at this. Huh? I mean, what's what's going on here? Huh? I can't make two in a row yet. Yeah, you like this so far, huh? That yeah, looks it's pretty good over in that section, huh? This ain't over by a long shot. Don't worry about it. Just let me make two in a row. That's all I want to make is just two in a row. That's all I'm hoping for. It's all right. This this set ain't over with. 14. Not a lot of room for error. No. Ah. Oh, and a scratch on top of it. Just to salt up the wound. Did he, he pick did. up again there? He, he picked yet. up and he did not stroke the shot. Unbelievable. Misses and scratches. Ball in hand now for Efren, which means he could put the ball anywhere on the table. And everything's wide open again. One in a corner. I go on this side of the 15. I can't just make him and wind up in the jaws. What am I going to shoot? You know what I mean? You got to like force it over here and here. You know what I mean? He's talking Six to ball. longtime friend Nick Varner, Hall of Famer. Going over here, I had to go like this. Of course, I could have played the 15. I could have just eased it down, maybe. You're right. Four in the corner. What do you say if you're if you're his corner man? If you're in Mike Siegel's corner now, you you want to make him feel good. You, yes, sir. Yeah, you're right, Mike. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, you have to do that. You know what? If you're a corner man, you've got to pump up the person that you're trying to 
inspire. <laughs> you, you know, you don't want to tell him that he's doing things wrong, and you need to pump him up. Efren obviously is incredibly confident right now. He feels good, and again, he's been playing against the best players in the world for the last two days. He's played 10 matches in two days against the best players in the world. So he's, you know, he's, they call it having the numb stroke. He's like in dead stroke right now and very confident. Five in the corner. You know, a statistic that happened yesterday, Marlon Milano, Manalo rather, almost went to this tournament undefeated. That's right. Now Marlon had Efren four to nothing. And Efren beat him eight he to four. Came back to win exactly, and you know Marlon was playing like God up until then in the tournament. Three in the corner. <laughs> Paid sixteen matches without a loss. Came up against uh, Francisco mm -hmm. Bustamante, lost a heartbreaker, and then against Efren. And whoever won that match was coming in to this uh, tournament. Well, he's got a eight layup with the, the eight corner. ball here. Take a commanding lead. He missed, oh, almost missed that ball. Game to three. Seven nothing for the Magician, and this gets back to something we, we touched on earlier, Lori John, the fact that Efren Reyes is a big money player, and there has never been money bigger than the money here at the King of the Hill shootout. I actually did not like his stroke on that show. No, no, I, you know, anything he had, the people don't understand the pressure. Game eight, Mr. Reyes leads seven games to none. And for the second straight break, nothing drops for Reyes. That's what Mike And watch, and look at this. Those two balls are tied up. And that's the Tell cue. Tell me how tough this game is. <laughs> now, how do you like this action? Huh? <laughs> I, you know, here's the funny thing is I feel like I'm playing perfect. I ain't made two in a row yet. Figure that, that's the truth. Right, I mean, that's how I feel. Can't make, can't make two in a row yet. I gotta shoot from here, right? Can't pass? Play safe. Play safe, yeah, where? This is unbelievable here, I'll tell you that right now. Ay, 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 ay. I don't even know how, how do you play safe? What, what, this, guy ain't, this guy ain't missing a ball, where am I gonna put him here? I'm gonna have to bank the one. One ball. What am I supposed to do, what? You're shaking your head? Where's my corner man? Play it. Short, short, just what I thought. See you later. You know, he's joking about this uh, on the outside, but he's dying inside. He sure is. You know, that's really hard. You know, he lets a lot of air out by talking, sure and that's why he got the nickname The Mouth. Even he's laughing. <sighs> is this an easy layout for Efren, Lori John? Yes, it is. Uh, he, uh, again, he's, he's going to shoot the low balls. Nothing's tied up. <laughs> Everything has a pocket. I'm looking at the ball. The only area, One in the corner. Uh, there's there's three um, solid balls in a row. Now, I talked to Efren last night after his win against Marlon to, to get into this final. And I said, how's your record? And he goes, Mike uh, has the, the edge. They're pretty close, but Mike has had the edge in heads-up matches with Efren. He's over this ball, not easy. Well, it's, it's just barely made that. Almost a foregone conclusion, barring a, a, a miraculous turnaround, that Mike Siegel will be down one set to nil, uh, perhaps in moments. What does he need to do, Lori John, speaking of Mike Siegel, to get back in this thing? He needs to go regroup. I, I think Mike just needs to take a break. He needs to talk a lot, get it all out of his system, and, and pretend... He, you cannot change the past. You cannot change the past. You have to just go ahead. All Mike has to look at is it, it's a race. You know, he has to win the next two sets. Again, it's never been done before. Mike Siegel has never lost two sets to lose at a final table. Seven in the corner. And the crutch will make its first appearance here. Efren Reyes is, is very skilled in that particular shot. And look at this.
Mike is, is saying that this corner. does not have to go. If a game is set. I mean, you just never know. <laughs> the first set Wait, belongs to Reyes. 8-0, shell shot, Siegel shell shot. Efren Reyes is one set number one. Can Mike the Mouth Siegel, the reigning IPT king, come back and retain his crown? More championship eight ball at the International Pool Tour right after this. Mike, tougher set, what went wrong? I, I couldn't get started. I mean, he, he had an easy run out. The very first rack, he misses the ball. I got like a trick shot run out. I make a good shot, the opening shot. If I tickle the two balls there, the match is allowed to be eight nothing the other way. Everything just went against me. I'm trying to figure, I feel like I'm playing perfect. I feel good, I feel very comfortable, but I, I can't get started. I mean, I, I never seen, I've been playing pool 40 years. I've never seen anything go like that, that all of a sudden it just looks like a one man show and there's nothing you can do about it. Back at the biggest stage and event in pool history, Mike Siegel trying to recover from what was a disastrous first set. Gentlemen, leg for break, please. It's the Reyes leads one set to none. I don't know if you none. need any luck, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. <laughs> and this is really, Mike has not broken the balls yet, and the break is huge. So this leg. It's imperative he wins this leg. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Missed it again. again. Gee. Oh. Wow. I'm loose. Don't, I'm loose. I'm too loose. Well, Mike, Mike spent a lot of time between sets telling everybody that it's not a matter of being tight. He feels good. He feels relaxed. He just couldn't get going. Okay, set two, game one. He might feel a little bit too relaxed, if that makes any sense. He told his wife this morning he wished he was a little bit more nervous. Interesting. Well, Mike's going to have an opportunity. Hey, look at this. Finally, he gets a shot. You know, Mike Siegel taught Tom Cruise how to shoot in The Color of Money. Uh, good, he was good friends oh, with Paul Newman anyway. and Tom Cruise. And that was really, if, if you've seen that movie, The Color of Money, it was the Mike Siegel story. He was the left-handed kid who couldn't be beaten. A little gambling here. Was taken on the road by an older player, Larry Hubbard in real life, played by Paul Newman, and was taught how to, quote, hustle. And then, of course, won over 100 professional tournaments, more than any other this. player. Ten-time world goes. champion. The first set... He never had a ball to shoot at. No, and he can come back. 13 ball. All right, here he goes. I didn't want to do that. He didn't no, want to do boy. that. He was not looking to hit the 14 ball. He was looking to come two rails and out. Well, in the first set, Mike had more misses than makes. Oh, he hit it. He's made two in a row for the first time in the match. Yes. Looked impossible. I wonder how much of this is just trying to keep Efren off of his feet for a while. 15. I don't think that much. I think he's really playing the rack cautiously. I think Green he's just row. being very cautious on Not which. Too good, though. Son of a gun. What he chooses. That's not too good. Now, how is that not too not good? Done. He, he left himself a pretty good, pretty good shot, it looks to me. If you look, the nine ball and the 14 ball, the, boy, the, oh boy. he has to get perfect on that. First. And the 12 ball, he wanted to get on first. I see. Play a 12. 
Now, he chose this route, even though it's harder, but it's the only way he can get 12 and a corner. on these two balls here. On the, yes, the 14 ball and the 9 ball. What a great shot. Oh! Roll, baby. What a great shot. That was, did you see how close that came to scratching? I don't, I, it, it, there wasn't a lot of room for him to make that shot now in between one, the seven ball he there. He had to hit this with a lot of, very firm. Two balls to go and the not eight for the win, but not easy at all. Gonna play oh. the 14 ball oh, in the ball. side pocket. Oh. Doesn't get any easier. Another great shot. 14. 14 in the side. Hold your breath on this one. Hold your breath is right. Missed it oh, and he missed it. <sighs> missed it a diamond. That's the, see if he moves his head. See, yeah, he look. moved it up, but he's not staying down on his shots. Four inches, I missed it. Seemingly one or two shots away from four inches. Gathering some momentum, and now he has handed the table back okay. to Efren Reyes. And this isn't automatic. No, that's actually very See, look at that. Shot. See, that wasn't automatic. Well, I'm cutting this in. I don't know what's going to happen, but that's what I'm shooting at. I'm playing it over there in that corner. I got no clue what's going to happen, but I'm hitting it hard. I can tell you that right now. Not even. He did hit that eight ball, though, afterwards. Second miss of the game for Mike Siegel. It looks like he's jumping up a little bit. Now three he ball. overcut that three. He overcut that fourteen ball, and the cue ball did hit the, the eight ball. The eight, yeah. You know, Mike spent a lot of time over the last day or so talking about how much more experience he has at a championship table than the two or three players that may have gotten the opportunity to knock him off the hill. And so far, he's the one that appears nervous. Efren Reyes, calm and cool as a cucumber. Well, again, he's calm, though, because he's had the opportunity to shoot. <laughs> Mike has not had every shot virtually that Mike has had has been one in the corner. a must-make, super difficult. He hasn't had shots like this, where Efren is making balls and has right. some easy shots. That builds his confidence. Hasn't up. had any layups. That's really true. Six in the corner. Really has been a, a decidedly different looking and sounding and shooting Mike Siegel than the one that beat you in the first ever IPT event, Lori John. That's because of nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Your nerves or his? <laughs> his now, mine then. <laughs> okay. Corner side. You know, Mike told us yesterday that when Efren Reyes first came to the U.S. from the Philippines in the Slime 80s, in the he blew through everybody, and nobody could find a way to stop him. Mike Siegel was the first person stateside to beat the magician, and that's why Mike has Efren's respect. Seven ball in the well, it's interesting because when they polled uh, players, who, what player do you respect the most? Efren Reyes, answer, Mike Siegel. Eight ball in the corner. And Efren game Reyes one. takes the first game in set two. And now gets, keeps the break. We have yet to see Mike Siegel break the balls. So the magician Efren Reyes takes an early lead in set two. Mike Siegel is in desperate need of some new luck here at the IPT King of the Hill finale. Can he pull off some magic of his own? The magician Efren Reyes, one of the most unflappable players ever, has taken the next three games in set number two. What a pressure performance he has conjured up thus far. 
We go now to game five of this set. Reyes leads four games to none. Again, to refresh you, Mike Siegel is yet to break in the match. He'll have an open table here once again, however. However, uh, but look at but look at when he gets an open table. Look at the table. The only shot that he has that's a legitimate shot is is the two ball in the side pocket. Does he? Can he play safe? Can't get out. See, he said he can't get out, which means he can't run the balls and make the eight for the win. He can't. The, the balls are too clustered. To I don't want to shoot that. I'll lose the game there. That's it. Yay. Great shot. Very good. Got to get that mouth flapping again. Get Mike going. Next is going to be the nine ball. What he was doing there is he wants to feel what the shot's going to be like if he puts the cue ball there. Is that correct? Yes, he's just looking at angles. He wants to get perfect mm. angles every single time he shoots. And so he doesn't have to use funny English. Exactly. Try or, to or a hard shot. Right. Again, you don't want, if you don't get exact Tempo. position, you have, you have a difficult shot. Come on, boy. Got him, mighty. But we saw Measureoff where he wanted to leave it for there. the 14 ball. Is that where he wanted to leave the cue ball? No, <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> he wanted to be over here, didn't he? Yes. 14. It's 14. unbelievable. Now he's got what? I don't know if he's going to bank the 14 or play it. All the way up into the corner pocket. I think so. What a, see again, unbelievable, it shouldn't unbelievably be this unbelievably hard shot. Nope. Go in. Oh, he oh. made it. <laughs> what a good oh, shot. Oh, he made a good shot, finally. He made yeah, a good he did. shot. Wow. Yeah, the five is, you know what I mean? One more time. I would like to hit the five there. Boy, he, top of he the didn't five think he had it either there, Kevin. And he's still, he's still not out here. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what's going to happen there. So he's playing this ball down, down here. Yes. And where does he want to leave the cue ball after that? <laughs> well, this is his <laughs> next ball here. I was here. going to say anywhere so in this vicinity to, to where you can make that 11 As ball. long as he gets it out there far enough. This Without is a scratching. very, very difficult shot. The closer a cut shot is, Distance-wise, between the cue ball and the object ball, the harder. Oh, he the made shot it! Is. He made it! Oh, oh don't scratch! Well, that was Mike Siegel's shot of the match so yeah, far. Was. That was beautiful. You Love have him. no idea how hard he got that shot perfect was. position on that shot. Seven in a corner. Was that a harder shot than the uh, the 14 ball he made earlier? Yeah, probably. Come on! I don't know. Don't do this, you <laughs> idiot! Where's the spin? He's fine. Now he's just talking a little game Lady there. Eight. Oh no, this is not easy. This doesn't have to that. go. He's got this one here and here. That's for the eight for the for the game. He's fine. This doesn't have to go. Yeah, oh, no. Mike Siegel has gotten <laughs> off the schneid and onto the scoreboard. His first game Look of the effort. match. God almighty. He had to win one, folks. Hey. He's just too doggone good a player. He sure is. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now how do you like it? Mike Siegel finally breaks through. Now, remember, guys, this is the man who many consider to be the greatest big match money on the line pool player of all time, and he's now got his opportunity to prove it. Plenty of money on the line here. Reyes, the magician, knows he is now in a match. You're watching the International Pool Tour. For a schedule of events and to learn how you can qualify to play for over $8 million in prize money, log on to internationalpooltour.com.
Back at the International Pool Tour, Mike Siegel has finally broken the ice. Reyes still leads 4-1 to one here in the second set. But Siegel has the break, and given his pedigree and history, Mike could be poised for a big run here. I made one. Kiss a Rooney. Uh-huh. Give me a shot anyway. I mean, what are the odds of breaking the balls like Mike All right, play as hard as 11. he hit it and having ball. one shot only? Well, he gets on the scoreboard, winning his first game of the match after losing his first 12. Combination shot here? Yes, he's shooting the 13 ball to the 11 ball. Great shot. And he left it perfect. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 12. 12. He always just stays down. Obviously, he's flipping his cue stick around. Let's see if he moves his cue stick. He stayed down there. Shots have been a little more automatic for Mike Siegel after winning a game. He's had some easier decisions, certainly, but uh, he looks a little more comfortable by and large. Well, he's letting his stroke out a little bit. But he's, still, the pressure is unbelievable. 13. 13. Well, a good look at that 13 ball. ball perched right at the pocket. But he, has he just to, has to get some angle on the 14 right, ball. He's got to get that mm -hmm. cue ball in position. He either needs to come to the rail. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Now, the reason why he's saying whoa, whoa is if that cue ball ends up on the rail, now he's got to shoot over the three ball. Right. Eight ball in the corner. Four to two in favor of Reyes is Could Mike we, wins two in a row. Could we be seeing the incredible comeback? Mike Siegel mounts a comeback and has the break. Can the current king of pool hold on to his crown? In the era from 80 to 90, Mike Siegel was the toughest guy to beat on the, uh, on the tour. He would get up there and just know he was going to beat you. The other players would be playing thinking they're going to win. He was out there knowing he was going to win. I used to watch him play on, you know, videos of, of him. He plays great. He's a great player. You know, back when his hair was like this, you know. <laughs> That's every kid's dream when they were growing up was to play Mike Siegel. He was undefeatable, you know, I mean, he really, truly was Captain Hook, you know. When he made it to the finals, he usually won. The greatest tournament player of all times, in my opinion. When he gets to the finals, semis, tough to beat. Siegel kind of ruined a lot of people's careers. You couldn't beat the guy when he got to the finals. Hey, what can you say about the guy? He's a living legend. Mike Siegel, our IPT broadcast colleague earlier in the tournament, now is at center court, center stage, the main event. And here in the championship match, he trails four games to two and is down a set, but he's definitely come off life support and has the break. It's all right. Cue ball can sit right there. A couple of balls dropped for Mike. Now, do you see his cue stick Jim. bend? I mean, that's uh, the Siegel break. He's got a very Kyle's powerful really. break. I've seen him break the shaft years ago on, on the break. Right. He on just, the break. He, he's choosing the low balls. And you can see the two ball. Whenever a ball's hanging in the pocket, right. you usually want to choose that type of, Seven. you know, if you can, you want to choose. Seven ball. That option because Efren can't make that 13 ball right now in that, in that pocket. And he's going to keep that two ball there for a little bit. Two. That's a little more confident Two stroke. Ball. It's, a, it's a completely different stroke than what we saw in the first game. How is he going for the two? He's now? going for the combination now. But he'll keep the six ball there. Oh, Just trading places. There now. 
wanted the cue ball to come a little further, I think. <laughs> Six ball. Oh. Oh. God. Do you see two inches off, an inch off, and you're on the wrong angle? See you're on a, you know, rather, th rather than being here and having a straight in shot, he's now on an angle where the cue ball's coming, you know, just away from the five ball and the three ball. And that's the speed, the pressure, the lights make Four the ball. cloth run a little different speed. Not automatic. He chose to just hit the ball and come out, which is, he's, he's, he's confident now. I can see that. Five ball. Five ball. Oh, that bounced back brilliantly to put him in a spot for the three ball. Ah, it's all right, but. He would have liked a little bit more angle. God. I really want to swing around. That's. Oh, he is. Come on now. Now, he can, now it's hard for him to reach the shot. Why, why, not, why not use the crutch there? Three ball. You either like using the bridge or you do not and he like it. He also <laughs> shoots left-handed and right-handed. Yes. Oh, you know what? He has, okay, he has a little bit of room the there. I thought that ball was, was tying up, but that's a. Now this is the toughest ball. Yes, it is. For the game. Right, right in the heart. Three in a row for Mike Siegel. And the old king is trying to stave off his pursuer atop the hill. Well. Efren now gets to uh, gets a taste of sitting in the chair. That's a race to eight. Give me 13 more of those in a row, okay? Whatever you did there. So important to make a ball on the break. Give me a shot. Give me a shot, Ski. Give me the shiz out, Ski. Oh, I could play this, right? Oh, baby, you dirty rat. Mm, mm, got a freeze. Look at this. Now he's looking at ah. this ball here. Let me see. The 12 ball, the solid, two ball right? is in front of the 12 God. ball. God. And he. Ain't frozen on the rail here. The easiest shot is obviously the 13 ball yeah, right yeah, now in the this corner one pocket. Here. Yes. That's the easiest one, but if he hit. picks stripes, then he's got this that problem issue. here because yes. this ball doesn't go in there. Yes. Awful close. I'll tell you before I shoot. Play the two. Two ball. He's playing the 12 into the two ball right now. Hi. Great shot. Money. Now, for everyone at home, he picked solids. Even though he hit a strike ball first, you can only Seven. do that on the break. Right. In the corner. It, that, was an, that was a perfect shot because now everything is... Fairly open. Yeah, a little straight on this, didn't he? Yes, he did. <laughs> Definitely did not Boy, want he to knows be it. Yeah. straight and over the nine ball again. Over did it. <laughs> Six in the corner. And this is where he has to use English mm -hmm. to move the cue ball around. Yeah, you don't want to. Look at that. Oh. Great shot. Ho, baby. Ho! Got me. Got me. I can't make it, can I? It got me. Look at that. Does he have a shot there, or is, is the is three ball in the way? Look what I just did. That's hard well, the three, balls, the three balls in the That's way. This ball is in the way right okay. now to where it's hard for him to, to, to do is make the five the ball. Now, he might be able to use English, maybe do a little masse. Not sure. It, it just, yeah, he's, he's trying Can't to see if he that. can do this. Play the one. I'm going to bank the one. Bank the one ball. Bank the make one, that one ball. Okay, he's going to bank the one ball. No, I'm not doing that either. No? <laughs> <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> Play the four. Play the four. That was my first shot. Let me look at this. It's not a tough jump. <sighs> what do you think here, guys? Huh? It's like, oh. Using his audience lifeline now. This is pretty tough to miss. I'm afraid of going airborne. I'm going to play the five. I'm playing the five. I'm playing the five. That's what I'm playing. Play the five. Five in the corner. Yeah, I never even hit it. 
I thought it would jump. You believe what I just did there? I just got careless on the seven, got straight on the six. I mean, how stupid am I? Huh? Hey, we had, they didn't have enough room to get by. I had to spin it, and I stick there, and I still don't have a shot. Well, that was the fifth miss in this second set by Mike Siegel. And again, his misses, unlike, which is very interesting because Mike's misses were all on difficult shots. So really what Mike has done is either A, got very unlucky when Efren missed where he didn't leave Mike anything, or Mike just didn't position himself correctly, as giving was, himself. As was the case with that last right. shot. Efren, on the other Pinball. hand, missed a few easy shots, which is very uncharacteristic. So it's... Pretty interesting both ways. 13 in the corner. Looking back at that, Laurie John, did he choose the right shot when he tried to jump and play that five? I, you know what, I don't know. I, 14 in the corner. I don't know, when he said to bank the one ball, kind of liked that option because he could have kissed it off of the 10 ball no matter where it hit on the rail, if he could have banked it. Certainly, he was thinking worst case scenario, if he tries to jump and make the five, he misses it. He wasn't thinking that he'd scratch on that. Well, again, we're not, the smallest cue stick that you're allowed to use is a 53 inch. This is Reyes for the game and for a five to three advantage in the set. A dreadful turn of events for Mike Siegel. A blown opportunity, and Efren Reyes capitalizes. The Manila magician leads Mike the mouth five games to three in the second set. You're watching the International Pool Tour. For a schedule of events and to learn how you can qualify to play for over $8 million in prize money, log on to internationalpooltour.com. Okay, Reyes is leading five games to three and is up one set to none. This standing room only crowd here is expecting a comeback from Mike Siegel, but Reyes won the last game and has the break. But Mike does seem to have regained some confidence, and as he often says, anything can happen, especially in high-stakes eight ball. Okay, Mike. Didn't make a ball. Yep. Well, this guy's a tough guy to follow. I can tell you that right now. But, but look, <laughs> I Again. mean, this is this is unbelievable. Look at the, he's only has one shot, he has doesn't he? One shot, and it's over a ball. He has to shoot over the 14 you ball. You have to understand, this very, <laughs> this is like spooky, what's Let happening here. Hold on a minute. Efren oh, doesn't make a if ball. I touch this before I stroke, oh, well, what's the deal with this, with the 14? I touch the 14. That's not a foul, right? Right? No. He wants Let me to see, see if, if I he can, can reach this first before I do anything. You know what? We need like the double bridge here. Do we have that? Oh, I've got two bridges if you want. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I mean, this is on, this is spooky. This. Efren doesn't make yet. a ball. And look what's left for Siegel. Mm. Wait a minute. And oh. Efren has <laughs> look at this. consistently not made balls on the break. And, and he's always left Mike with something crazy. Oh. Come on now. Get in. Oh, oh, man. Gosh. No members, no members roll there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what we're seeing here. You get the sense that maybe if we waited five, six minutes, like at the end of Caddyshack, that ball would drop in. Well, you know, Mike is a very emotional player. He was 10 years ago. He was in New York. Missed a ball, God. broke his cue in half. Snapped it right, right in the tournament. Well, the Bo Jackson of the uh, pool circuit. Good double bridge, impossible. You know, we've said this a couple of times that before. Was <laughs> yeah, that that Efren has not consistently struck the ball with that crisp, breaking sound. Every once in a while, you hear the clank come off the cue, and and maybe that's uh, another one of those opportunities for Mike Siegel. The after the break, Mike. The, the, breaks, the shots that the he's breaks. the shots that Mike is having to shoot after a break. Right, the breaks that he hasn't got. Every break that could go against him is going against him. Six ball. All he has to do is get the break back. Oh and God. okay, and that was now, a huge break. 
Now, I'll explain this. He called the ball into the side pocket, missed the pocket that he called. The ball went in another pocket. The ball stays down, but it's a loss of shot. Now it's Mike is back at the table, and he gets a chance to shoot. 13 ball on the side. Mike is now the striped balls. Oh, he played that perfect. It's worth a clap. <laughs> a clap, singular. <laughs> he needs the audience to, to warm up. He needs to warm up, and he still has a chance. Oh, Mike is every bit the showman. No question, he feeds off the energy of a, right a sold-out venue. Is Renee Siegel his wife? Poor Renee. It's worse on the spouses than it is on the players. Eleven. You know, back to that crowd for a moment, Lori John. Mike lives in Orlando. He's from Rochester, New York originally, but it's almost as though this field of the 42 best players in the world came to his backyard to try to knock him off the hill. And so far, the visitor has uh, been doing a number on him. As long as Mike Siegel is at the table, I would never count him out. 12 in the corner. Well, both of these players at this caliber have the ability to basically break and run as many racks as they want. 14 in the corner. He got exactly where he Exactly needed. where he wanted. He's loosening up a little bit. Keep in mind, his key, his key is not only just making the ball, but moving the cue ball to give him a good, easy shot on the eight. So he's doing two things, moving that cue ball and making the ball. Pulling it and coming Mike. off. What the heck? Eight in the corner. Sinks the eight ball, and he trails Efren Reyes by just one game in this race to eight. Four games for Siegel to five for Reyes. Head down. The head was down. Stick around. Mike Siegel, perhaps the greatest money player in pool history, has his sights on tying the set. The International Pool Tour is brought to you by NaturalCures.com. It's your alternative to drugs and surgery. It's 5-4, Reyes leading. Siegel's emerging with the help of a mistake by Efren, and what an opportunity now for Mike to even this set and take the lead. He has the break and some momentum. There we go. Don't put me on the rail. Don't put me on the rail. A couple of balls drop on the big break. break. Uh, see, he's got a big break. Notice how he bent that q 6 He's got a great break. Balls are opened up. Cue ball's not frozen on a rail. He actually has more than one shot now to choose yes, from, Lori John. <laughs> Six so he's the choosing side. the low ones, which is a great choice. See, and that oh. wasn't the easiest shot on the table, which an, an amateur player or a beginning player would probably shoot the easiest shot. Play a seven. God, is this table getting wet? Wow. See, the table's getting wet. Boy, this thing's yes. getting a little wet. Which means wet. that the cloth is getting slow. Slower and slower and slower. And the cloth was already slow. Son of a gun. <laughs> a little wet. A little whiz, that. Which in the Philippines, Two. where the humidity is 150%. They're used to that. <laughs> They're used to it. Well, the scandal theorists tried to explain the, uh, the great finish by the three Filipino players uh, as having something to do with home friendly conditions, not to mention the fact that the three of them are extremely talented. That was a good stroke. It was a very good stroke. Well. And he still wants to get exactly in this position. Four. Four in the corner. 
To me, it looks like the eight ball does not go past the 11 ball. And Mike Three. actually might Three be to trying start. to get in this area right here to right. shoot the eight ball in this corner pocket. I, I think you're 100% correct. Unless, I'm, unless I can't see something. Oh, he did it. Unbelievable. Wow. What a great, great shot. Wow. That ball took a hard left turn. Wow. This is to tie the set. Oh, we got it. Even at five apiece. It was the second to last shot that was the most impressive in a... A game that was filled with impressive shots by the right king of the hill. Look at this. The spin he had to put shot. on that cue ball to make it do that. As Siegel sets up to try and take the lead, he has the break. Let's go to our Daniel Roberts in the crowd with World Series champion A.J. Pierzynski. Hi, I'm here with A.J. Pierzynski, star of the World Series champions, um, the Chicago White Sox. A.J., what do you think of pool? I think it's great. It's a sport we play. I had a pool table growing up as a kid, and... I never got really good at it, but uh, you know it's a sport we play uh, as a team. Uh, we go out to, to bars and we play, and uh, we have a couple beers and shoot some pool. In my sport, it's a little bit more of a team thing, but uh, there's the pressure still there, and everyone's watching you. And I can't imagine what these guys go through. I don't know how they do it. Wow, it's pretty impressive, no? Oh yeah, it's amazing. I like watching these guys and uh, you know seeing how they they can move the ball around and put it right where they want it. I wish I was that good. I could make a lot of money. Well, thank you, AJ. And back to you. Lots of sports stars and celebrities here. Big fans of Poole and big fans of Mike Siegel. If he can continue his comeback, Siegel can take the lead here in set number two. It's tied 5-5. Ah, I hit those crappy. Oh, I made one, though. Off the rail. Jeez, I hit those bad. I'll keep the break. Boy, I hit those bad. Afraid of going on the side. Okay, he's going to shoot the 14 ball in the corner. Or in the side. No, in the corner. And he missed it. No, he, no, got he it. didn't. He got it. See, now that's called cheating the pocket, and he knows how that ball is going to react now. They're learning what the ball does when it hits the rail, and he's knowing how far he can hit it on the side of the rail and still get the ball to go in. And also the cue ball wouldn't be here for this shot. I'm playing the 12, just in case I get stuck. Play the 12. Okay, he's gonna shoot the 12 ball right past the nine and the two into the corner pocket. Which means he has to be perfect. Let's see if it happens. Great. Wow. I hit it like oh. a pig, though. And look at that. That's the only problem. But what's wrong with that? Did he, <laughs> he left it too close to the strike ball? Well, what happened was he hit it with such hit authority. It like a pig. All I had to do was split those balls. <laughs> Hit it like a pig. Nope. All I had to do was catch the rail here. Hit a little fat. Tough shot. And that's what he... Every time I tie He it wanted up, to hit go. the rail on that. I didn't have the perfect angle just following, but I had to bump it over. That's what I tried to do, split them. <gasps> oh, my wow. goodness. What's the deal here, Effie? Wow, Efren Reyes literally hands the table back to Siegel. A rare mistake and a golden opportunity for Mike to go ahead for the first time today. We'll be back at the IPT's King of the Hill Championship. It's eight ball at its best. It's the International Pool to a real pool, real rules, real money, and everything on the line here at the championship match. An overflow crowd at huge stakes. We go back to the table. Efren Reyes' uncharacteristic mistake in game 11 has propelled Mike Siegel back to the table. This is a moment now, a pivotal time in the match that Siegel must take advantage of. He's got troubles here. He's still up 13. at the table. <laughs> which, is, which is better than being in Efren's position. Exactly. But this is a tough shot. This very ball is on, the, this is on the rail. Very tough shot. Very tough shot. Very tough shot. 
Oh. Ah, man. That, Lo that Lori John would not be pocket speed. No. He just missed that. I mean, he, okay. he, hit that, he hit that right in the rail. He's got a tough shot here. And he misses. The bad sound. We heard oh, the baby. He hit the rail oh. there with his, with his he cue. Hit something here. <laughs> now, these are the two well, greatest players in the world. You left it good. I thought I could stick him on the rail. I do that. I'm going to bank the nine for this pocket. You know, actually, I can make this. Okay, he's going to try to bank the shirt. nine ball, and it's a shoot at it it's a squeeze. You you actually hit it with English very hard, and it squeezes behind the two ball. Oh. Wow, yeah, it's an unbelievable so shot. You can you can squeeze it over the two. It's what, almost a jump. The game. Again, I'm our gonna, I'm going to bank it for the corner. Here our game score is here. tied at five apiece. This is a bank crucial it, game. Ball, cross corner. This he, is so hard. It is unbelievable shot. But if he makes it, it is it is unbelievable. Ah, look how that reversed. Man, that would have been a hanger if, that, if I'd have hit it. Look how that ball reversed. Did you see where that went? Now, Efren's been cold now, here. He's missed two ball. shots in a row. Yep. Now he's shooting the three ball in the corner, which is the right shot. Again, a crucial game. We're tied at five games apiece in this elimination second set. Whoever wins this game to take the 6-5 lead not only takes the advantage, but needs to only run two racks to win this one. And it could be Reyes to win two more racks for the championship he's, here. He's unhappy where he got position. I mean, he's the balls are kind of open, but he's oh, well, still got a little bit of a challenge again, here. Again, he didn't want to be where he was. He wanted to be over here, you know, because the, these balls are over here. So the, the one in the seven ball. And right now where his cue ball is, he's going to have to do Six something ball. just a little bit funny. Let me tell you, guys do not like to slow roll balls like that. Players themselves, I don't like to slow roll a ball like that. With authority. Siegel has to win this set, otherwise it's over. And Ephraim is the new king of the hill and the richest winner in pool history. And he's left a pretty friendly diagram here. Yes. You know, of the, of the 42 the players that were at this invitational from all over the world, the last three in the corner. were from the Philippines. Game, Mr. Ray. They're the Hall of Famers right there. Efren Reyes is two racks away from becoming the new king of the hill and uh, awarding himself the biggest purse in pool history. Well, here, okay, Efren, Efren made a ball on the shot, and this is... Yeah, he, it looks like a pretty open table <laughs> for someone of Efren's caliber. He, he can knock those balls out right well, now. Well, he's going to do that. He's going to shoot the 11 ball in the corner pocket and knock the... The 11 ball. Knock the 12 ball away. Perfect. Perfect. I hit that perfect. Twelve in the corner. I would imagine that uh, 
uh, Efren Reyes will ever be every bit the uh, pool hall rat, to borrow the basketball term, the uh, gym rat phraseology that he, that he was before he uh, he entered this tournament. As we've already talked about, pool is is such a way of life for him and some of the other Filipino players that are here. Well, you know, after this tournament, win or lose, there's a good chance that Efren is going right to the pool hall. I mean, really, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely right. He's, he's probably right going right to the whole pool hall. Clunk. Makes it no problem. Got it. Earlier in the tournament, Efren played fellow Hall of Famer Buddy Hall, known as the Rifleman. Ten in the corner. And beat him 8-0. He's <laughs> Efren's laughing right now at his positioning. <laughs> 14 in the corner. Well, he's, in exactly an, he's in an okay where, spot there, isn't he's he? He's fine. It's just not exactly where he wants. And and I, I think you can just, you know, it's just the, the tension building up, and you oh can boy. just feel it. He's he's this Take much closer to yeah. $200,000 in his pocket. He's real close now. He's starting to smell it. He drops the eight ball here. He needs just one rack to become the new king of the hill. And, and he has the break. Mike the Mouth Siegel can do nothing but sit and hope. When we return, Reyes with the break. He's on the hill, one game away from ascending to the throne and claiming the most coveted crown in pool history. You're watching the International Pool Tour. For a schedule of events and to learn how you can qualify to play for over $8 million in prize money, log on to internationalpooltour.com. He's playing for this, he's playing for this, and he's playing for his country, the Philippines, where he is a folk hero, a legend, the legend of pool. He's Efren Reyes, and he's a game away from delivering a win that will be heard in Manila and round the world. Mike Siegel, voted the world's greatest living player, is likely happy that poll was taken before this match. All he can do now is hope and pray for a Reyes mistake, which at this stage of the match, with all the money on the line, would be surprising you know to say the why least. Can't, why do I get over to 10? That's why I left the 13 and 15 like that. Mike Siegel has been to 117 final championship tables. He's won 105 of those. Now. Efren keeps the possession. He'll keep his cue in his hand as Here's he drops the ball on the break. Here's his break. Mike Siegel could be packing his bags and giving up his crown. Right. Unlo yeah, you're right, unless he misses. And, and with this layout, I don't Five see ball. that happening. Biggest prize money in the history of the game. Mike Siegel losing at a championship table is uh, a rarity, as we've just addressed. Rarer still, in fact, it's never happened where Mike Siegel has lost in a two out of three set championship format. I can tell you one thing. I have told, I've told my children for years, that was a great shot that he just made because he had only half a pocket there. But I told my kids for years, they always wanted to play pool. And I'm like, no, don't, don't. <laughs> and now with the new IPT, I'm telling them, go ahead, go play pool. You can earn There's millions, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, can, yeah. you can actually earn a lot of money, yeah. yeah. For the first time in history, the IPT is now offering pool players a chance to earn the type of money that the PGA uh, players make and other professional athletes. Efren Reyes is on the verge of climbing the hill and knocking off one of the most highly decorated players this sport has ever seen. Six. Three more balls plus the eight. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. What did that do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's cracked that Cheshire cat-like <laughs> smile a couple of times, almost like he's, he's, he feels bad about oh. winning in the fashion he has. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen that before. He's, just now, he's a pretty fearless player, too. The only thing he has to, you know, the only position on this table that he could like end up in ball. that he can't make the eight ball would be behind this ball right here. That's the only place he does not want to get. And he's perfect. 
This is it, folks. Look at him. <laughs> the fans responding to Ephraim Reyes. He's won this crowd over. Mike Siegel came April, here, a favorite, certainly in his game, own mind. Set, match. And a crowd favorite as crowd. well. Yeah! A new king Ephraim of the hill. Reyes. Wow. How excited is he right now? Well, he must be absolutely, there's Renee Siegel, very disappointed, obviously. A historic match, historic proportions, largest prize money in the history of the sport. Over a million dollars was given away in this tournament with the 43 best pool players from all over the world. And Efren Reyes comes away the champion. What a landmark tournament it has been, and what a stirring and historic final match we've just witnessed. Efren Reyes, the magician, has magically made the biggest prize money in the history of pool disappear right into his pocket. And Mike the Mouth Siegel can take solace in the fact that even though he suffered a stinging defeat, the sport of pool will never again be the same. Drama, high stakes, pressure, and remarkable pool. We've seen the skill, strategy, and unshakable nerve of the world's greatest players. It's the International Pool Tour, and it's elevated the game of eight ball to a level never before seen or imagined. And much more to come in future events. From the final championship match, where Efren Reyes has claimed the IPT King of the Hill crown, I'm Matt Vaskersian. For Lori John Jones, Kevin Trudeau, and the rest of the IPT broadcast team that brought you the sights and sounds of the biggest event in pool history, good night. We'll see you next time.